Hey, how's it going guys? I'm in here. This is a taste of a Rick Hinderer design from Kershaw. This one is the Kershaw Creo. It's still new in 2013 actually because of the release of, of the bigger brother of this one this year. And I'm really uh, digging this knife so well. I just got this together with this uh, Benchmade mini grip in pink. A good friend of mine asked me to get her a good knife, and I cannot think of a better knife for her than this mini grip tool. And I'm sure she's going to dig it. It's my first time to handle a Benchmade, and also uh, my first time to handle an access lock. So uh, it gives me an idea to make this video because of the locking system of this knife. So before I'm going to give this to her, I'll make a video on this one first. So this video is about the different kinds of locking mechanism on a folding knife. I search here on YouTube about about that and a cutlery lover made three part videos a few years back about all kinds of locking system on a folding knife. But this one is going to be about the five most common locking system nowadays and let's start with this one by the way I purchased both knives from a guy named uh, Jason Ang I told him I'll give him a shout out on on my small channel here I'll annotate his Facebook page somewhere here it's called a light fix a cut store and I'll post a, a link below down this video as well so Jason Salamata anyway this video is for my friends and maybe uh, for your friends too uh, who don't know about locking mechanism on a folding knife so to start with this one is the Spyderco UK PK knife or uh, the UK pen knife This knife doesn't have any locking mechanism at all. It's called it's called a slip joint. Uh, the release or the opening and closing of of this one is caused by the tension of the back spring, and uh, that's all there is to this knife. This is how folding knife started. It actually worked and it's it's still a safe knife even though it doesn't have any lock. It is proven to throughout the years. So again, uh, that's the slip joint. Next is the lock back system. What I have here is a spider called Delica. Just uh, press it here to release the lock on the notch of the blade and then just close it like that. So there is a a notch on on the tang of this blade and the lock here there's a hook that fits on or it catches the notch. Uh, it, it is dragged by the tension from from again from the back spring. Uh, I really like the lock back system. For me, it's it's the most strongest locking mechanism out there in my opinion. Especially because of the cold steel uh, tried lock system. I mean, those knives are awesome. Once you open them, feels like a fixed blade. It is also the most uh, common together with uh, the liner lock. So that's the lock back. 
What I have here is a Kershaw Zing. This one has a liner lock and a liner lock has this lock bar that prevents the blade from closing once you open it. It catches the blade or the tang and to release the blade you have to press at the lock bar towards the handle side and just push the blade to, re to close it there you go that's uh, the liner lock this locking system is the most fun to play with in my opinion again it's also the most common locking system out there together with uh, the lock bar so there you go that's the liner lock next is the frame lock again this is the Kershaw Crayo The frame lock is almost the same as the liner lock, but the only difference is this one uses the handle itself as the lock. Here your lock bar is the handle itself, and again all you have to do is just press this towards this side to release the blade and or to close the blade. That is the frame lock it's the common locking system nowadays especially on a custom knife and those uh, high-end knives out there it's stronger than than the liner lock I believe so again uh, that's the frame lock so and last but not the least whatever that means <laughs> is the axis lock again. This is my first time to deal with an axis lock and I'm really really digging it. I'm I'm really impressed with the, the mini grip I mean. Look at that. How smooth that is. Um it has a very simple but strong locking system here. The tang of the blade has a cutout here that catches uh, this lock this lock right here and there you go to release it just press this and then release to open it again this cut out here of the tang will catch this lock here so there you go that's the axis lock I'm really digging the axis lock so smooth so there are also other locking system on a folding knife out there but again like I said this video is only about the the four or let's say five 
most common locking system now nowadays. So I hope you, you enjoy this video and I hope you you learn a thing or two here for those who don't know about knives. And please like or share or subscribe my, my channel. It may be small but at least it, it's it's growing. So thanks for the views and stay safe guys.